Uh, good afternoon. I'm excited to celebrate a very special Shabbat with uh, with many of you. Uh, we have a visiting scholar from Israel, who is uh, Rabbanit Shlomit Flint. Uh, she lives in Yucham and has taught and learned at many uh, important midrashot in, in uh, throughout, throughout Israel. Um, and of course, the soiree is this coming Monday, and I'm really excited to see the list of those of you who have already uh, made plans to participate. And I want to encourage everyone else to, to join us as well. We have a, a certain number of tickets that have been donated on behalf of members of the community who are facing a financial barrier uh, that's preventing you from participating. So uh, if that describes you, please reach out and uh, we can make tickets available to you. Uh, and otherwise, uh, please uh, purchase tickets if you haven't done so already. We really would love to see you. I think it'll be a very enjoyable event, a very special event, a uh, way to say thank you to some very worthy honorees and also a way to support the ongoing work of the shul. Parashat Bahar contains many uh, economic mitzvot. These are mitzvot that aren't just um, about how one person interacts with another person or how a person serves God. These are uh, mitzvot that govern how a society functions, uh, uh, particularly in its economic life and as it relates to the land in the land's capacity as the foundational means of production. Um, wealth and sustenance ultimately comes from the land and uh, the laws of Shemitah and, and some of the other mitzvot uh, related to the land that are in this week's parasha um, who treat the land as that means of production, as the foundation of economic life uh, for 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 the Jewish community. And my teacher, uh, Rabbi David Ebner, noted that in our parasha, as some of these mitzvot are discussed, uh, because, you know, the mitzvot in Parashat Bahar, almost all of them, or many of them, appear in, elsewhere in the Torah. Here in Parashat Bahar, the Torah is emphasizing our relationship to our fellow as, as our brother. Ki amuch achicha umachar achuzato, right? If your brother is impoverished and sells uh, part of their, their, their ancestral land holding, okay? So uh, that that's how, um, uh, again, you know, and, uh, and again and again, you have a numerous uh, reference. Ki amuch achicha umataya doimach, Okay, if your um, brother is distressed and comes under your authority, okay? Uh, if your brother has to sell himself into, into slavery, okay? You uh, don't treat him as, as, um, as a chattel slave, okay? Uh, and, and, and again and again, uh, in, in the parasha, specifically, you know, we're looking, when we'll focus on, on chapter 25, you see this, this, this phrase of achicha, me'achab, the brotherhood, uh, this kinship relationship is is stressed by by the Torah. It's, it's a late motif. Okay, it's a word that that appears again and again in uh, in the section of the Torah. So uh, w when this happens, we can look to to the the primal case in the Torah where brotherhood is described. And of course, the the first instance of brotherhood as described in the Torah are the first brothers in the Torah, who are Cain and Hevel. Uh, and uh, and the, their brotherhood is emphasized by the Torah again. It's, it's a late motif. Uh, Cain and Hevel achiv and Cain said to his brother Hevel. Uh, his brother have okay as they were in the field uh, and um and then god even says right a hevel achicha where is hevel your brother after he's been killed right and of course uh, kayan's uh, response he says hashomer achi anochi am i my brother's keeper and as i uh, tell my children repeatedly okay uh, am i my brother's keeper it's a um uh, the, the answer, of course, the Torah wants us to give to that question is yes, okay? <laughs> Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, yes, you are. And, and the way that we are our brother's keeper, one of the ways so, uh, that we are, several of the ways that we are <clears throat> the protectors and the and the, those who are responsible for our brothers and for our sisters is through these mitzvot of Parshat Bahar in which the poor are, are supported and, and given um, support and, and rejoining uh, normal economic life where uh, those who are wealthy don't take advantage of their wealth to exert power over, over others because there's a brotherhood, there's an equality, there's a, a fundamental kinship relationship that uh, is meant to, uh, to, uh, to be a foundation for all of the other relationships, the economic relationships that, uh, that may occur. I wish you all a wonderful Shabbat. Hope to see you over Shabbat and in the coming days. Uh, make sure you read the bulletin and the email this week. Lots of, lots of exciting things happening in the coming weeks and, and things you wouldn't want to miss. So, so I hope you'll read carefully and, uh, and join us. All right, be well.